Hi folks, Rick here. Welcome to my channel. All right, well today we're gonna to be installing some uh, subframe connectors on my 66 Mustang. These are from CJ Classics um, and they're just bolt-on kinds. Um, the weld-on ones, anytime you can weld something on, it's gonna make it a lot stiffer, a lot sturdier uh, in that kind. But I chose to go um, with a bolt-on kind. And they, these ones come in bolt-on or weld-on. But welding on the bottom of your subframe and stuff like that, you know, without really looking at it and seeing it and those type of things, you know, there's a potential to catch your interior on fire. I don't wanna take out my interior or screw with that. So at, at this time. So I opted to go with the bolt-on ones. Um, even though that might not be as good as welding, it's gonna be 10 times better than not having anything. So we're gonna go on and stick the bolt-on ones on. Uh, and then, you know, at some later date, I could always weld them on as I see fit. But they're a pretty nice unit. They got a thick coating. Um, I don't know what kind. It's like an armor coating on there. It's a pretty good armor coat there, but it's got a bolt on there. It comes with hardware. I don't have that to show you. But uh, it's got some bolt-ons here. You're going to have two bolts that we're going to need to drill on the front subframe. On the back here. There's a couple of things here. This thing's black, you're not seeing, but there's a couple holes here. One's gonna go through our upper spring eye, and there's another one, I think, that bolts to the bottom of the car somewhere, looking at the directions there. So I'll show you when I get under there, but uh, comes with all the bolts. It looks like we're only gonna need to drill two holes. So uh, hopefully there we'll be able to get someplace there we can get a drill in, so that should be pretty easy. The rest is bolt on. Uh, we are going to have to remove the front spring eye bolt though. So that's gonna require a couple things, right? So we're gonna need to get the car up on jacks for one so you can get underneath there. But it's gonna require two sets. We're gonna need to have to support the back end of the car underneath the subframe somewhere where it doesn't impact this bar. So that way we can take the pressure off the suspension because we're gonna need to get the suspension off or the pressure off the, um, uh, spring, leaf spring, so we can get that bolt out. Secondly there, we're going to need some type of support underneath the rear axle right there so the dang thing doesn't just drop out. So we're going to have to support the car, support the suspension, and kind of put a little bit of pressure on there just to take the weight off it so we can get our bolt off and get our bolt back in. Then we're good to go. Once we get the, 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 the um, front spring bolt out and in, we don't have to have support underneath the car. We can just, if we want to remove all that for space, you can just put some jacks and jack stands back underneath the axle and we're good to go. But it's going to require a little bit of that. Again, anytime you're underneath the car like this, working with jacks and jack stands and trying to get multiple things going on, just be ultra, ultra careful like that because it's easy for this stuff here to go haywire on you. So with that, let's get, uh, I'm going to get my car jacked up and then we'll get some video of what underneath looks like to see what we're up against. So let's get after it. All right, so first thing we got to do is get some support underneath our subframe and then we want support underneath our rear axle. What we got to do here, um, I've already had this bolt out thankfully so it won't be that hard for me, but we got to take the pressure off this spring because we got to pull this bolt out here. And so you have to support the subframe and you have to support uh, this here. And then what we want to do is just slide this out nice and easy. Mine was an absolute bear to get out. Uh, but just keep working on it, WD, what have you. Push it out. And then they give you a new bolt. Uh, and so when you um, go to put our new bolt on there, you want to make sure there's a big flat washer on the other side of this one. You want to make sure you put it on your new bolt. Then we're going to stick our... Uh, tab here up and we're going to run that bolt from the back side through here through here all the way through and we'll stick our uh, nut back on here so let me go ahead and um, get this bolt out and I'll just get this thing here stuck on there so we can look at it so a tip for you folks when you're taking your bolts out here where's my finger at out there it's good to stick a screwdriver or a drift punch or something in this hole so the spring doesn't get out of alignment that way you can kind of wiggle this thing here and put the bolt in backwards uh, from the other side. Also, 
when you go to put your new bolt on, put a lot of grease on the thing there. That'll just keep everything from getting corroded. So I've got this thing just here supported. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and stick this bolt in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be the next step. All right. So I got my bar laid up here. I got a floor jack underneath it just to make sure it gets up here nice and snug. I'm not really jacking up on it, just holding it up. So you want to do this here and test fit it. Make sure everything's nice and flush right here. So I ended up having to do a little bit of trimming here on the top of this tab here. Not a big deal. Now I'm just going to just drill out these holes on both sides. And uh, this thing will be done. I'll put some bolts in there. And... Uh, We'll go here. So let me get this done. All right, folks, I got this whole thing in here. Now, according to the directions here, you're supposed to be able to uh, stick another 3 8 bolt here, but I've got no hole on mine, so I don't know if that's for a different year, but uh, so I'm not using this one here. But I've got this in. It's bolted in all good in here with their bolt that they supplied. You can see it there. Where is it? They're running all the way down the end there. Um down there now it's all in nice and good so yeah it was a little tricky there trying to get the god darn drill in there um but it went fine just gotta as with everything have an extra amount of patience there but that's really about it had to do a little trimming on that far end there just to get it sit flush um you know at some point in time again i'll probably come back and weld this thing it looks very easy to weld down that end very especially here obviously right here you could get a good weld here here and then on the, the back side here which you can't see it's easy to weld so not too bad pretty easy but even bolting in there it's pretty good um obviously a lot better than stock so that's what we're you know going after there just anything i can do to help this thing uh, along there uh will be good so this is it pretty easy install it wasn't really too bad again be darn careful here Putting everything up on jacks. You get, again, you have to support it under the subframe, support it under the, the differential so you can get the, you got to get the weight off this spring here in order to get this bolt out. Hopefully your bolt out, comes out easier than mine. Mine was a bear, but I got it out. Again, just a lot of time, uh, everything like there. Um, when I put my bolt back in here, uh, I put a new spring on as well, but when I put my bolt on, I always coat it with uh, grease on the inside of that thing so it doesn't, attract uh you know moisture and rust it out and get stuck in there the next time you got to do this thing so i always grease the heck out of everything so uh that'd be another tip for you there you can try if you want to there otherwise you know do do, do what you feel is best but that's what i do but that's it subframe connectors are in not too bad you can see them down there you can get a better shot of them there you can see they're bolted in there really not too bad they just run right along there and bolt up to your, um, your, I don't know what happened here. Uh, yeah, they just uh, bolt down there and they bolt up here to your, uh, your um, spring part. So not too bad. So with that, take care and enjoy.